afternoon, guys. I just got off work. Shouldn't excite me this much, but I am excited that I've actually gotten to put a little bit of hay in my lean-to addition. It's far from being finished. Uh, I do have the roof, obviously, as you guys have seen. Um, I had about 100 bales in here, just in one stack and then in front of it. I had someone come buy 36 bales from of alfalfa grass mix from the field there here at the house. I've got the other 50 bales loaded on the trailer. Those 50 were sold to somebody. And lo and behold, they never showed up. So uh, I've got those loaded up on the trailer. Those are going to go over to Dad's. Uh, I've got these up on pallets now. And the person that came and got the first 36 bales, they're going to come and get the rest of this in about a week or so. So I told them I would leave it here for them. Who knows what we're going to be doing. Go ahead. Take a guess. No, it's not fertilizer. We're not bush hogging. Hey, what's this guy doing here? We're gonna go cut some more hay. The second cutting on the east field, which is a clover orchard grass mix, red clover orchard grass mix. It's hot, and you know what I forgot to do again? Forgot to go by and get some refrigerant for my air conditioner on this thing. It does work, but when it's really hot like this, it, it, it's a little bit low. We're gonna cut it. I'm gonna sweat a little bit. It's gonna be what it'll be. We'll get it done, be drying, and uh, hopefully in a couple days we'll bale it because it is hot. I think it's fairly dry. There's a really slight chance of rain tomorrow, 24%, I think. So that's why I've waited till today. So if it does rain, it'll still be green. Won't hurt it any. If it doesn't rain, we'll get that day of drying time. Move on and bale and be done with it. Man, did I tell you guys it was hot in here? Whew. It is. I don't know if hot's the word for it, guys. So, by the way, Ross, I uh, Franklin County Forage. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're gonna go lay some hay on the ground. Let's get to it. We're using a Gale 2412 center pivot 12 foot cut disc bind with uh crimpers and a 2135 white this is a i think it's a 78 model i'm going to kind of include a little bit of basic stuff if there's anyone tuning in that is not familiar with making hay or tractors or equipment or farming or whatever uh, the disc bind is hooked up via the draw bar, hydraulic lines, and the PTO. So the PTO stands for power takeoff. That's what actually powers the unit, makes it cut. The hydraulic lines are what actually lifts it up and down, allows me to pivot it in and out. And uh, the draw bar obviously is the mechanical linkage. That's what's actually letting me pull the unit. So right now we're gonna turn on the PTO. That's this lever right here. That there's a brake, that lap. So then as I push this, it's just like engaging any clutch. It's a PTO clutch. You see that shaft down there spinning? And now everything's under covers, but it's spinning. So that's engaged right there. And then we've got our throttle. Turn it over to 1,000 RPM. I run at about 800 RPMs, 750 to 800. Then we're gonna lose this. This here is what lets it down. I'll push that down. And that unit will go down. We've got her in gear. Now we're gonna cut some hay. Some really, really good looking hay. disengages it and then there is a brake you see the shaft whenever I push this here back all the way it'll stop see the shaft still turning slightly I turn it back boom okay now we're gonna go pick up some sticks 
and here are uh, the sticks and you'll see uh, the orchard grass has actually started to kind of wilt and it's going dormant is what it is now it looks like it's dying it's not dying it's a cool season grass and we've already had one full week of 100 degree weather this week's supposed to be 100 degrees it gets to this temperature this time of year this length of days uh, orchard grass timothy cool season grasses do not grow well um, now that doesn't mean that it's dead that doesn't mean that it won't ever come back uh, but we just have a really big lull this time of year uh, it is june 21st right now and you can see out there the soil is not quite as good so it's, it's look worse there than it is here um, it's further in the shade here less sun it's looking healthier you can see the clovers even looking wilting and stuff see where the the deer have been eating the tops of the of the hay off this is what it is we we, we have lots of deer here we grow them big and we grow a lot of them so anyways i'm gonna pick up the rest of this don't want to run up through the equipment and get back to it This here is some good hay out here now. It's all good hay, but what I mean by good is it's quality and it's thick. It's gonna yield good. You see how tall it is here. It's uh, halfway between my knee and my waist on the clover. And the grass, it's 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 really deceiving too. You know, it's it's about the same height, but it's it's not as erect. But it's pretty thick. 
by the time we double up these windrows we're gonna have some pretty close bales I like it You okay? I lost you. Into the house, see what the kids and Bethany are doing. Got me a bite to eat and let it dry, right? Let it dry, let it dry. Can't keep it wet anymore. Let it dry, let it dry. Okay. Alright, guys, this is the last of the hay from the last batch besides the 25 bells we have over here i'm holding it here for a customer uh, got 50 bales actually and then two more that i found that were pulled out of the baler from this then two more that were pull out, pulled out of the baler of another field we're actually 54 bales on the trailer all right as we're here we've got it unloaded i'll show you guys what it looks like here real quick Here's what it looks like. So we're, this is what we stacked with the grapple. There's 20 bales to a grab in a layer. So there's two grabs wide. So there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So there's 100, 200, and then dad just threw two more up there. 200, and then there's 130 over here. So there's 330 or straight orchard grass mix or not mix, straight orchard grass. And then this here, there's like 254 or something like that. Of course, we had to stack these by hand. I tried to stack them so I could grab them with the grapple when we load out, depending on where we start from. I don't know where we'll start, but... But the next stuff we do, we'll go right in this runway. So we should be able to stack it for the most part now i won't be able to fit two stacks wide there so i may have to grab like maybe five and then four we'll see time will tell but either way we've got you know uh i'm gonna say 600 bales at least in there anyways 